I was at Kentucky Fried Chicken the other night and they had no chicken. Technically, I got the last of the chicken in my order before all the other customers went completely feral. And I felt so bad for the employees because when I worked in food service back in high school, customers could get pretty abusive. But now it's gotten so much worse that I feel like every time I go into a restaurant, there's some kind of a sign up that says something to the effect of like, um, Attention, valued but rude customers. Due to a global pandemic, we are experiencing a shortage of both humans and rations at this time. If we are unable to meet your needs today, please refrain from murdering, emotionally maiming, or traumatizing any of the employees who have not yet quit this hellhole job that is serving you. Thank you. And this poor girl at KFC was telling everybody, I'm sorry, we're all out of chicken. And people were responding to her as if what she was really saying was, I'm sorry, we're all out of chicken because I ate it all already. People were demanding evidence like they thought they were in some kind of weird chicken related prank. One lady said, I want to speak to your manager. And I just thought, what is the 22 year old KFC manager going to do? He's not in charge of the chicken supply chain. But this girl told Karen, we're out of chicken. And Karen said, I wanna to speak to your manager. And the girl was like, okay. And the manager came over and Karen said, you're all out of chicken. And the manager went, yup. And Karen just went, this is ridiculous and left. And I was like, what is the point? What was the point of that interaction? Why did she need that? I understand being excited that you're gonna get your food or you're gonna get a special treat and then not getting it and feeling disappointed, okay? I've been there. One time I was having a rough day and I went to McDonald's to get an ice cream cone and I paid for it and I got up to the window and instead of handing me an ice cream cone, the lady handed me vanilla flavored frozen yogurt on a cone, which is unacceptable. But I didn't, I didn't yell at her. I just cried in my car and then took an impromptu 14 hour road trip to another state, both of which are more acceptable responses than yelling at a customer service employee who has no control over the amount of cream in my dessert. People were getting so upset that they couldn't have chicken as I was walking out with my bag of chicken. I was looking around in the dark like, I hope nobody mugs me for my chicken, which sounds like a crazy thought, but it was a genuine thought because crazier things have happened in the last few years than someone getting mugged over chicken. Like, it could happen. Am I wrong for my reaction when I learned that my fiance returned my wedding dress and replaced it with the one his mom picked out for me? My fiance, male 33, and I, female 28, are getting married in December. His mom is the intrusive type, but she's nice overall and we somewhat get along. I hate to admit that wedding planning has been an absolute nightmare. His mom wasn't willing to agree on most things and my fiance said that since he's her only son, then I should respect and appreciate this vision she has for the wedding and how it should be. My vision is the only one that matters because I'm the one getting married. That's it. Class. <laughs> She insisted to come along for wedding dress shopping. I took her with me and my mom and friends. I was so lucky to have found what I was looking for, but she picked a dress that she liked so much and said that she always pictured her son's bride in it. Mom and friends thought this line was creepy. I thought the dress was somewhat creepy and totally not my type. I apologized and thanked her for her vision, but told her that I'd already decided on a dress that I had envisioned myself wearing at my wedding. He came home in the evening ranting about how I made his mom upset and turned down her help in choosing the wedding dress and excluded her from the process. I asked, what process? Duh, it's just a wedding dress my wedding dress so i really didn't get how she should get a say at all he got upset and said that this attitude of mine isn't working on him or his mom he said that i should consider the dress his mom wanted to buy especially knowing that both dresses weren't that much different anyway like she said but i told him yes they were different like so much different anyways we argued about it then we dropped it yesterday i came home and found out that he had returned my wedding dress and replaced it with the one his mom wanted oh my god see if that was me you would have caught some hands. I would have been pissed. I called him and he was straightforward about what he did and why he did it. I lost it and started screaming at him. He asked me to calm down and really give this dress a chance. I refused to even listen. I screamed at him without giving him a chance to speak. He got home and we had an argument. I then went to stay with one of my friends and he kept calling and calling then texting saying that I was overreacting and that it's his wedding too so it wasn't cool how I screamed at him. He insisted I give this dress a chance. He went on and on about how his mom had a vision and good intentions and just wants what's best for me as her future daughter-in-law. My mom is living and has been wanting to go scream at him and his mom but my dad said that this isn't worth ruining my relationship with my in-laws over he suggested i wisen up and go with the flow but is it too much for me to be able to pick up my own wedding dress without being guilted about it just to keep the peace am i the asshole for my reaction girl 
Good luck. Could be me. I am turning into the kind of person that I used to make so much fun of because I started a gratitude journal recently, right? I thought that's a nice thing to do for myself. And it turns out that symptoms of starting a gratitude journal don't just include feeling more grateful. It also includes feeling the need to tell everybody else that they should start gratitude journals. So I'm that person now who, when my friend is complaining, I'm like, okay, but seriously, have you thought about starting a gratitude journal? Cause like, I didn't think it would work either. And it totally works. And like, my life is bad right now, but it just, you don't really how much you have to be grateful for until you write it all down like it makes me feel so much better and then I discovered salads I, I used to hate salad I was like I don't like her vibe she seems fat phobic because salad has always been marketed as a diet tool and I didn't think that people were eating them because they were delicious but then I was at Wendy's of all places and there was a salad on the menu and it had like two big scoops of avocado that looked like ice cream scoops but they were avocado and I was like or, or guac I guess and I was like that is I want that and I ordered it and I was what like the whole time I was eating this salad I was really like whoa whoa what damn that is not an exaggeration at all I nearly recorded myself eating the salad but I it felt like an intimate moment between me and the salad and I didn't feel comfortable posting it on the internet the only beef that I have with salad now is that they put all the good stuff on top and it's really hard to like mix it all in with your fork and then I realized today like duh that's why people shake salads is to mix the ingredients you can just mix it all up in there and now I'm that person who's like okay but have you seriously thought about starting a gratitude journal like I know you don't think it'll work but it'll totally work with my stupid salad and I hate to say it but I'm not not intrigued by crystals these days you know am I wrong for making my girlfriend cry because I said computer science would be too hard for her mm, why would you say that I, 24 male, have been with my girlfriend, 22 female, for six years. Okay, she was 16, you were 18. Mm -hmm. Okay. I currently work in the business sector and have been thinking about going back to school for a degree in computer science and engineering. My girlfriend has been extremely supportive of my decision and has been there for me throughout the application process. For background, she works multiple roles in healthcare and science and wants to go to medical school. Today after work, she came home and we talked for a bit. We had a conversation about our days, jobs, and plans to go back to school. At one point, we had an intense but healthy conversation about the pay differences and systematic processes in both healthcare and the tech fields. And she confided in me that she sometimes wishes more of our friend group held healthcare positions too and that it is still shocking to her how much tech people can get paid in such a short amount of time. Time. She also clarified that it's not that she wants tech to pay less, but for sectors like healthcare, hospitality, and first responders to pay more. Most of the people in our circles are in business and tech and have no interest in healthcare due to the often long education processes and average pay. I tried to comfort her and tell her it's okay and that she is in healthcare because she's passionate about her patients and science and she agrees. Then this is where I maybe made a mistake. I then said that computer science would be too hard for her anyways. After that simple statement, she turned away from me and began crying. Why would you say that? I, like, you don't know that. I was confused at first and asked her if she was okay. She broke down to me telling me she felt my comment wasn't necessary and it just made her feel even more misunderstood. I know that she has been through a lot with her jobs and that even though she loves what she does, she has been feeling burnt out. I understand that her line of work does require a special person, but that doesn't mean she would do well in tech especially since she is not a tech savvy person. We often joke about how she is not tech inclined and needs my help a lot in that area. My comment was both the truth and a joke, but I understand how it can be hurtful. At the same time, I still can't shake that she could have reacted differently and was probably feeling insecure and that her pride was hurt. I just think she shouldn't have felt that I was belittling her abilities just by telling the truth. So am I the asshole? Here's, the you're for sure the asshole. Why would you say that? Like you don't know if she couldn't do it. A lot of people go into majors and, or decide to do something, if they put their mind to it anyone can do anything i don't know why you would say that like you were good up until like you made that unnecessary remark like you're saying it's the truth truth to who you don't know like let her you don't know you don't know i'm not usually petty but when i am i'm epically petty now to preface this i'll start by saying that my current husband and i have been besties since we were 14 we married other people had families and generally lived our lives my first husband died and they were also friends it was a terrible time for all of us at that time his wife was throwing fits about him visiting and wouldn't visit herself she would also say that i'm trying to steal her man like my husband who i loved so much hadn't just died two years passed and he finally leaves her and we're still friends at this point eventually we start dating and get married fast forward to 18 months ago my husband's daughter is visiting during her senior year of high school due to covid she can stay for a few weeks and not 
worry about missing classes. During this time, she lets me know that she didn't get a graduation announcement nor is she getting any sort of party. This isn't a COVID thing either. Her mom was going to piggyback off of her parents' 50th wedding anniversary party. Well, I'm a professional photographer that specializes in senior portraits. I take a bunch of pics, even though the mom had done some six months prior, and make up announcements. By the time the cards show up here, she's already gone home. At that point, I call my stepdaughter and get the names and addresses for people that she wants to send these to. I also add a camping weekend invite for her grad party later in the summer at my house. I send these to everyone, including her bio mom's parents. Slightly petty. Now this leads to a string of events. First, bio mom throws together a party that my husband and our son end up going to. Bio mom did not like that. It also clicked in my brain what this could mean. So then I told my stepdaughter about the car we were going to give her. Not a lie and a beginner beater. So her bio mom goes and gets her a much newer and nicer car. Then I tell my stepdaughter about a cruise that I want her, my daughter, and I to go on. Now her bio mom has booked a Mediterranean cruise for the two of them. I get my stepdaughter a duck and chicken and now the mom has six chickens for when the stepdaughter comes to visit. Right now I'm trying to come up with something else. I'm thinking a nice tasteful piece of jewelry. I will add that the mom has some serious narcissistic traits and made my stepdaughter's life miserable. We were unaware and stepdaughter is living with us and attending weekly therapy sessions. Although lazy, in this I'm spiteful and willing to put forth the time and energy. Am I the asshole for telling my sister-in-law her kids are going to hate their names? I'm 27 female and my sister-in-law 34 female has four kids and a baby on the way. She is the definition of a crunchy mom. Her family is vegan with no electronics in the house, has all natural toys and clothes for the kids. And they're also homeschooled. She wanted her kids to have unique names and not basic ones. All the kids have ridiculous names. For example, one's name is Brylin, but it's spelled B-A-R-Y-L-E-E-N. Or there's Rory, spelled R-O-R-A-I. My sister-in-law asked me what my opinion was on her naming her next baby Astra, Inky, or Lore. Am I the asshole for telling my sister-in-law her kids are going to hate their names? She also went on a rant about how my husband and I's baby is going to have a basic name and not a memorable one. I'm six months pregnant and my husband and I plan to name our son James. I told her she was naming kids not dogs and her kids are going to hate their names once they get older. She got really mad and began screaming at me that I was rude and the kids' names are more than just a name. She stormed out of my house after this. All day, I've been getting calls from my brother-in-law and mother-in-law about how I'm evil and being rude. My husband agrees with me that someone needed to tell her she's giving these kids ridiculous names. 